All right, so here we go. This is for love only. We will be dealing with love only. So this is a love uh, reading with these three cards. And it's saying that there's a message that will be coming to you um, regarding love and romance, whether you are coupled or whether you're single. But you will be getting a message. It could be beware of it. It could be a bit of gossip. Um, it could have sneaky undertones because the Page of Swords is somebody that is younger and could be quite um, childish or sneaky or gossipy, um, you know, and might just bring you uh, a bit of information because it is uh, information, it's speaking, um, it might even be a thought that you get in your mind is to do with your intellect and your mind and your thoughts and your tongue and the way you speak or what you hear. Um, that we're coming to, um, that might not be uh, the full truth. So be aware of that. That's the messages. Then the next card was walking away. The Eight of Cups is somebody here that has a lot but still feels unfulfilled and has made the hard decision to actually walk away from already what they have. I mean, they have eight full cups there. Uh, it's almost the end of a cycle and yet they feel that they are unfulfilled and are walking away because they feel that they don't have all the information they need that will fulfill them and give them um, what they are searching for, the authentic self, the true self in a relationship. In, uh, emotionally, that's a water card. It is your card, which is water and, um, yeah, walking away. And then you have the chariot. The chariot is a card of victory by sheer willpower. You will this into being. And as you can see, the two horses or sphinxes there, the black and the white, you've had to make a decision, yes or no, whatever the decision is, both these creatures are, are pulling you in two different directions. And yet, uh, by your sheer will, you pull this whole big chariot out of the mud, the muddy waters. You've rolled it out. You've managed to control those demons or choices or thoughts and willing to pull you out and not in different directions. So it definitely is the card of movement. It could be um, that you're moving on, that you might be moving in your relationship, but you have the victory of that walk from walking away. So just to sum it up, uh, information coming in. It could be gossipy information. Uh, be careful of the spa-type information that you'll be getting. Something that's good information and is relaying it. You're walking away from that information because um, you know that there's something more to it with the moon there illuminating you. Um, the emotions. This is emotions. It's water. You're walking away from whatever it is and no longer serves you. And you will have the victory in the movement that you make, um, because you are a very strong sign and your will is very strong and uh, tenacious. So definitely uh, you've willed yourself out of the situation you're in. And these are high number cards, an eight and a seven. So um, yeah, definitely moving on and have a victory for what it is that um, you weren't too happy about. Okay, and then moving on now, this is just career and your work situation. So in your career, you start off with uh, a major arcana card. And this card is strength, saying that with your, again, using your inner world, your inner strength, your intuition, an eight, another eight, okay, um, you will get to where you need to go in your work and career because the beast, whatever is keeping you down or giving you um, a hard time or difficult time, you can tame that beast, you can tame that problem uh, by using your going within, not by brute force and confrontation, by going within and being gentle, with gentleness. With gentleness you can um, get ahead and you're going to need the strength to get ahead because you've ended a cycle and you're starting, this is a judgment card, which is the cycle has ended. It's, a, it's You've been born again with, within your work and the environment. Um, you, you're coming out of a dark place 
you needed to use your inner strength and your uh, intuition to get out of this. It's another major arcana card. So it's very pertinent in your work and career that um, you've been called by the angels to rise up out of this gloominess and to shed everything they make it, shed everything that is holding you back and be renewed and rise up for the calling because there's something better for you uh, in your work and career. Very pertinent. And then also, again, the, the King of Cups is either your energy or somebody that will be in your work and career that can give you the insights. It's um, somebody that works with emotions. He uh, could be a, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. It's a water sign. Um, but he's a born diplomat. Uh, he can strategize. He can give you... Um, he can be moody. Um, and uh, sometimes he, he can be a bit emotional but definitely will give you the sage advice because he is a king and he can give you emotional support that you are looking for being a Cancerian as well with your emotions and the water so definitely that energy in there so with your work and career there is major change with the major arcana and saying you need to use your inner strength because you need to shed what you no longer need and rise up from the dead. In other words, the darkness and uh, become who you're meant to be and become this king or get the guidance of this king energy and uh, sit on your throne and um, rule your kingdom. And then in your finances, you have the Hierophant, another major arcana card, and the Hierophant is somebody that it could be, um, it's a traditional card, um, traditional laws, it could be a lawyer, it could be a magistrate, it could be a counsellor, this is to do with finance and investment that you might be going to see or getting advice from, it could be the bank as well if it's a loan, but they will give you the wisdom that you need uh, for you to do. You will have to make the decision. They will give you the information you need to make the decision because the keys are there for you to make the decision. But it's a major arcana card as well. And then the, the next card is the Queen of Pentacles. So definitely it is to do with finances. And this is a queen that has everything, all the luxuries that she has. Um, very grounded energy, knows how to work with money, has a lot of opulence around her, but is grounded. It's not uh, just about the money. She's a benefactor. She's somebody that can help you um, get on. So it could read in very much so that um, you see a lawyer or a bank or something, and there could be a grounded energy saying that, yes, if it is alone, it will be positive and it will come through because she's holding the pentacle in her hand. The, the money will be there. And it's saying that you've been waiting for this for a long time. It is a thing. You've thought of alternate ideas. You've just been hanging around waiting for something to come through uh, for you. And it is a major con. I just want one more clarity on that to see. Uh, okay. And, and yes. It will eventually materialize. It is sadly a, a slow process, but with passion, um, you will get where you need to go because the Queen of Wands works with passion and fire energy and gets done what needs to be done. She also is a queen, so um, is an authority. She rules a ki uh, 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 the kingdom, basically. She rules besides the king, and it's just the energies there, never mind that male or female. So, um, yes, Cancer, it definitely looks like a um, pretty tough time all around. Uh, you're definitely going through a cycle change here. And with the eclipses where they've fallen, it has definitely affected your finances. And this would obviously also um, be weighing very heavy on your heart. Um, don't let it affect your relationships. Um, whatever you will be walking away for, you will have the victory on it as well though um, and it is hard to shed and to let go of things that uh, no longer serve us you know to walk out of that darkness be called up 
and to let go of what we know. Um, I just want clarity with that uh, answer, Spirit, please just give us some answers. With the Oracle of Cards for Cancer for the month of April on their readings that are here to give us further information and guidance. I thank you for this. And there we go. Okay, thank goodness for you. There you go. Okay, so all is not doom and gloom, Cancer. It says that blessed change with regards to your romances, whether you are coupled or whether you are single. There's blessed change on your way with your victory card. It says major life change brings you great blessings. So yes, you will be walking away from something and you will have the victory and that will bring you great blessings. And that is... Uh, Spirit message for you, absolutely beautiful, and I'm very pleased for you after going through that. And this year as well, your uh, career and your work, um, it says set your sights higher. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. So yes, in your work and career, you are going through a cycle, you're ending a cycle, you're having to go within for that inner strength. You're having to let go of what you know to move on, which is not easy, um, and find that emotional balance with a, a stable king energy um, to move on, emotionally satisfied. And um, it says set your, your sights higher because you need to increase your standards. You need to expect more for yourself and you mustn't settle for things that no longer serve you. Um, I think I want to just read this one. I haven't got the time. I'm trying to keep them short. But it absolutely says it all. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. And a really beautiful card for you with your work and career. And then for your finances and investments, it says alchemy. So whatever you've been battling with here, it says you have the Midas touch right now. And every project you begin turns to gold. So yes, although you've been having a hard time, been waiting for whatever needs to come through, with these two queens here and the Hierophant, definitely you're going to get the answer. You will get the benefactor. You've been waiting for the inspiration to come through and it will with fire, passion and alchemy. It's saying, the Spirit is saying that yes, you have the Midas touch right now. And every project you begin turns to gold. So very beautiful outcome for you 